How's the mushroom going? Number three? Any success? No. Number three? No. <laughs> Number three? It's getting larger. The man's getting, the volume's getting larger. Yeah. What did you get last time? I got 10 times 10 to the power, 3 times 10 to the power 10, and then I get 2 times Pretty big volume. Next, uh, 12. No. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, one more minute now and then we'll uh, continue. If you're stuck on number three, just watch the video for it and uh, have a look at number four. I should have put number three at the end because it's actually quite hard. Yeah, number four is easier. Annoying, huh? Yeah. Like a simple harmonic motion. Oh, I gave up. On the homework for that one? Yeah. I kept, I kept making mistakes and then I was like, no, why is it better? And I got it here. Mm. Then you got the wrong one. I don't know how. Simple harmonic motion is hard. Yeah. Yeah. What about the pendulum? I didn't even start it. Ah, because well done. But I couldn't do this one, so I don't think I can do this Not one. true, this is easier. Huh? It's just the one formula, you know? Oh. Okay, I'll try. Did you watch any of the videos for that one? For question one, I watched, but I still don't understand, like, why can't we use 0 0.1 second? Let's use that one. We do it in the tutorial, maybe. Friday? Yeah. We still have to try it on Friday, don't we? Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, this Friday I can't because I have to go to gym. Shame. Shame. Yes. I'll record it for you. Okay, thanks. All right. Uh, we'll continue, guys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You got number three, Bruce? No. <laughs> Stuck on number three? Number four is easier, I should have put the screw at the back. Okay, well the good news is you'll have a little bit of a break now because not really formulas in this next lesson. Okay, so mentally relaxing. Alright, can you write this down as states of matter? Okay. Got that? Yeah. Have you talked about this in chemistry at all? Or? No? Did you? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, so you've... Yeah, you've... Yeah, yeah, okay, you've talked about it. Uh, so we don't have a lot to do in this lesson. It's uh, not too heavy on the calculations. I don't even think there are any calculations in it. Anyways, since you are studying chemistry, I think you'll find this A-OK. -okay. So uh, you all have your basic image in your mind of what water is. It is H2O. Yeah. And you're probably sick of this in chemistry. You all know uh, what water looks like. So it's, what do we call it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, but I mean the, 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 the small parts in water. We don't call them atoms when they're put together. Molecule. Yeah. Molecule. Yeah. So as you know from science, things are made of atoms, but more importantly, the, uh, these atoms come together to form molecules, if you just told me. Uh, so actually, in chemistry, what's the definition you are told or used for a molecule? Atoms chemically combined. Um, not really number of atoms. I mean, it, it's not really a number thing. Like, what ex what would you say a molecule is? It's a what? It's a compound. Of what? What? Yeah, but it's it's what? What what have you put together? 
Yeah. Like if you had a chemistry exam and the question number one was what is a molecule, you would write a group of atoms chemically combined. Fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um <laughs> and do you say or do you usually say electrically neutral? No? Yeah. Yeah. The neutral, yeah. Because um What's the word in chemistry for when something isn't neutral? If it has an extra electron or it's missing an electron or something? Ion. Yeah, what are they called? Ion. They're called ions, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, it's a group of two or more atoms held together by chemical bonds. And your example that you first learned about all the way back, I'm sure, in elementary school is water, which is H2O. So this is so obvious for you since you're all studying chemistry. Um, so like what if the test and physics they ask for the definition of molecule? Do we write this or I don't think the definition is something examinable. If I just go back to the learning outcomes here from the syllabus Yeah, describe solids, liquids, and gases in terms of spacing and motion of atoms or molecules. So I'm giving you the definition of a molecule, so you know what I'm talking about when I say molecule. But you already knew what a molecule was. I really think it's unlikely that they would ask you because it would have said students must know what a molecule is. I'm only giving you the word molecule so you know what we're talking about when we say molecules. But you already knew what a molecule was. Anyway, it's still good to write it down because you didn't give me the definition that quickly, so your chemistry teacher will thank me for it. Chemistry teacher Lorraine or yeah. <coughs> okay, you got that? Yeah. Continue. Okay. Uh <coughs> we'll actually not talk about atoms until um, later. I'm only talking about atoms because that's the language we need, but we'll actually study atoms in much more detail next semester. It's enough that we have an idea of what atoms are. So, for example, uh, what does water look like at the molecular level when it's frozen solid as ice? Or what about at room temperature when it's a liquid? Or when it's a gas, it's a steam? The picture will look quite different when you look at the H2O molecules at these uh, these different states. Uh, so here's the picture we have. If we were to look at the molecules as ice, um, that picture would look quite different to when they're water or when they're gas. Now, is this something you've talked about in chemistry? No. No? Not yet. Not yet, anyways. Okay. Um, but I think this is something that you already know, even just from middle school. But what you might not know is the vocabulary. So when we move from a solid state to a liquid state, we call that melting. Well, that's okay. Uh, liquid state to a gas state. Do we know this word? Evaporation. Yeah, evaporation. Is that a new word? No. Yes, that's it. Uh, now, when we go from a gas to a liquid, do we know this word? Yeah, is that a new word or a word you know? New word or old word? You know this one, condensation? And then, uh, you all know this last one, a liquid to a solid. Uh, it's freezing then. So, what I need you to do is actually to draw this because in the exam they sometimes ask you to describe the different states uh, and it's great to have the vocabulary and to have the picture in your mind so if you can try your best to draw these and write down the words the words are very important here very important please write the words down
Keith. Did you write them down? Oh, wonderful. Too easy? No pictures, though? <coughs> okay. Yeah. Yes, we'll get to that one. So there is a there is a, a name for when you go from the solid to the gas and skip the liquid, and we'll do that in the the next slide. Yeah. Do you remember its name? Yeah, yes, it also. Yeah. Do you remember the first letter? Yeah, the first letter. No? Don't remember any of the letters, okay. Uh, Bruce was asking me, is there a name? Well, he knows there is. Is there a name to go from the solid to the gas, to skip the liquid state? It's possible. Oh, it's possible, yeah. Does anybody know the material or the situation where you can skip the liquid state? You can go from dry solid dry to gas. Dry ice, yeah. Dry ice. You all know dry ice? Yeah. No. It's the uh, what's it? Frozen, frozen nitrogen, isn't it? Uh, or the frozen CO2? Yeah. 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 Uh, and uh, I think it's what they use on movies for special effects. Yeah. Because when it melts, it just turns into steam, not uh, not uh, liquid. It skips being a liquid here. Yeah. I can't think of any other materials that are like this. The dry ice is the one that everybody knows, this frozen CO2. Yeah. Correct, well done, you found it. Uh, okay, continue. You have that? Um, there are ways to skip the liquid state if you adjust the pressure appropriately. You can skip the liquid state. I think this is what they do to make the the food where you add the powder. But I'm not sure. Uh, but you know, you have the food where you have the powder and you add the water. I think this is what they do. Would you know this one? No. You know, like you have your uh, pot noodle and you pour the hot water on it, changes the powder back into uh, um, the noodles. I think they do something like that to try and get the water out. I'm not sure. Freeze dried. Freeze dried, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The astronaut's food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, um, they have it as a solid, and then oh, I can't remember. Anyways, uh, it can be done. Skip states. Uh, the dry ice is the uh, famous one. Okay, next slide. Yep. So uh, in a solid. Okay, so before you write this down, it's quite a big definition. I don't need you to write every single word down. I just want you to get the idea. Okay, so before you write it down, what can we say about solid? So in a solid, the position of atoms are fixed relative to each other. They're kind of locked into place, although they can move a little bit, uh, over a long time. So they not really look like they're moving. And this is due to the friction sort of force between them. Uh, and this is provided by metallic covalent or ionic bonds. These are the bonds you studied in chemistry. You know these words in chemistry? Uh, only solids can be pushed by a force without changing the shape, which means they can be resistant to deformation. Deformation means changing the shape. And solids tend to be strong enough to hold their own shape in a container. And solids are generally denser than liquids. And this last one here is um, when a solid becomes a gas, we call that, as Bruce said, sublimation. <coughs> There's too much here to write down. Uh, really, I just need you to write down... Well, since you know these words from chemistry, I would like you to actually write them down. So if you can write this down for the definition.
In the exam, when they ask you for the definition, there's usually two marks. So they're looking for the student to understand that the molecules aren't really moving, or at least not moving as much as in the other states, um, and that they're kind of fixed or locked nearly into a position. got that? The only other thing I need you to write down, and you can actually put it on your diagram, is the name for the state, uh, the, the, the movement from the solid state to the gas state, which is, what's it called, Bruce? Mm -hmm. Solid to gas? Um, I know Bruce knows. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, yeah. So if you can just put that word at the on the graph, solid to gas. I should put it in on the graph. Well, I didn't make that graph. I stole it from the internet, so I'll add it in. Okay, if you got that word, yeah. Uh, so before I give you the definition for liquid, maybe it'd be good to see if you can figure out what changes in the definition of liquid. So what would be different in the liquid definition? Yeah, not really fixed. I mean, it can move more freely than the solid. Right? They take the shape of the container that they're in, yeah. Uh, can't really move it so much if you apply a force. Yeah. So for a liquid, uh, the molecules are attracted to other molecules uh, strong enough to keep them in contact but not strong enough to fix a particular structure. So although they're still sort of pulled to each other, not as much as for the solid, so they can't really keep a shape. So that's why when you know, put them in the container, take the shape of the container. Uh, and they're always moving, unlike the solid which kind of fixed into place. The uh, liquids are kind of continuously moving. So liquids can flow smoothly, but not as smoothly as gases. Uh, liquids tend to take the shape of the container they're in, and they're generally less dense than solids, uh, but denser than gases. Again, too much to know for the exam. I think we can just go as much as... Yeah, that's plenty for the exam. If you can just write that much down, please. Okay, got that? Yeah. Yeah. So the next one is obviously gas. So what's so great about gas? What's different about gas? Yeah, yeah, not really any bonds to hold them together. Can move quite freely, yeah. Yeah. And it will take the shape of the container it's in. Naturally, it, it no shape just spreads out. And the density? Is, uh, usually lower than the other two. Uh, in a gas, the chemical bonds are not strong enough to hold the atoms or molecules together. And from this uh, uh, gas, uh, it's basically a collection of independent, unbounded molecules which interact mainly by collision. In other words, i try and draw this for you. When we think about a gas, mostly speaking, a gas is just the molecules moving around 
and uh, maybe occasionally they would bounce into each other. And that's actually an important picture to have in your mind because when we study ideal gas law, we'll need to talk about this in more detail. In fact, maybe you've done the ideal gas law in chemistry. No? Have you done the ideal gas law before? No. Are you sure if I write this down? PV equals NRT? Yeah. Mm. Yes, or ideal gas law. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, what else? Do they obviously take the shape of their container. They're less dense than solids and liquids. They're smaller force of attraction. Uh, and gas becoming a solid is a different word which you can add to your diagram as well. Do you remember this one, Bruce? Yes. Is it possible? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's possible. Um, well, uh, remember the dry ice goes from solid to gas if you heat it up. So if you take the gas and cool it down, <laughs> we go back to solid. Yeah. It's not normal to see, of course. Yeah. Uh, so you'll need to know this word. And you don't need to write everything. I'd say this is enough for the exam. Oops, I mean this is enough for the exam. Ah, yes, who have we got? Matt. Thank you. you lost? I mean, I, I'm not. Yes, am I lost? You're not. Okay. And the students might be. Are you guys lost? No, we're all found. Okay. I think we're all okay. I think we're all okay. Thank you. Yes. <coughs> I think, uh, yeah, he doesn't know which room to go to. Got this? Yeah? And did you add in that extra word now? On your diagram. So that one is for gases to solid. The opposite of the sublimation. Yeah? Got that? Yeah. Continue. <coughs> okay. Uh, by the way, just before I continue, uh, just before I continue, um, we have three states: solid, liquid, gas. And like I said, you've learned about these in middle school, elementary school. You know about these three. And you know about these three from day-to-day -day life. My question is, if people have studied this before, are there only three, or are there more than three, or what? There's at least three. Could there be more? Or is it just three? Who knows? Maybe more. Maybe more. Do you know? Have any more? I don't know that. Maybe not more. You're just saying maybe more. Okay. Does anyone know for certain? Man-made, man-made state. Yeah, well, I, I suppose you can. Yeah, well, one of them's definitely man-made, anyways. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What's this called? Vacuum. Vacuum. I don't know the the next the the other state. So he's realised there's a state in space, something in space that's uh, a different state. Do you know what he's talking about? No. Yes? <laughs> yes? Oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, does anyone else know what he's talking about yet? Go on. No gravity. Yeah, okay, yeah, go on. <laughs> no, I thought, I thought you had it there. I don't think it's quite the... Uh, the extra, or another state, uh, is plasma. Plasma? Yes. A plasma is a, a different state. It's not a solid, it's not a liquid, it's not a gas. What's it? 
It's another state. Uh, I think you can get it in like the sun. I mean, it's it's wrong to say the sun is solid, isn't it? Can you stand on it? No. It's not quite right to say it's liquid or gas. It's something uh something after this, right? Uh, do you know this word I'm talking about, plasma? Have you heard of it before? I said plasma is like fire. It's on. No, fire. <laughs> Just fire, plain fire. Uh, no. No, no. <laughs> Guys, do you not know this word plasma? Or is this a new word? Plasma. Oh, you <coughs> must have heard of plasma TV. Yeah. Yeah. Plasma TV? No? Okay. Uh, anyways, plasma is another state. So there's not only solid, liquid, and gas, there's plasma. And we see plasma in space, most commonly. Uh, but there is uh, one more state. Does anyone know it? Well, I doubt you would know it if you didn't know the plasma one. Does anybody know it? Uh, believe it or not, there is... Uh, so, okay, so you have solid, liquid, gas, and then after gas, it's plasma. Okay. Uh, but believe it or not, there is a state before solid. Yeah. The solid's not the first state. Is there something before solid on the diagram? Yeah. Yeah, I got a million points for anybody who knows what it's called. In the very cold. Yeah. Very, very cold. Einstein. Oh, come on! I'll give you half the million points because you got half the name right. Einstein. Something I saw the movie, The Spectre. <coughs> it was like so cold immediately. Uh, yes. Touch. Yes. Yes. Einstein. Both. A million points for you. <laughs> yes, you got it. Yeah. Both <coughs> Einstein. Is this state? Yeah. Hmm? You got this from a movie? Yeah. Nice. Which movie? Spectre. It's hmm. on Netflix. Okay. Good. So you learned something useful then. From <laughs> the okay. Uh, so this lesson's really just practice description and, and all the different uh, words that go with this one. So some ice is taken out of a freezer and placed on a table at room temperature in direct sunlight. <coughs> Describe how the ice changes over time. Over time. Um, so really, I, I don't want to do this one with you right now because actually you all have a good understanding of these words. Uh, but just before I let you try the questions, uh, just bring something to your attention. So, um, if I have a little graph here, and let me put here the density and here uh, the temperature. So I'll just write T here. Yeah. Uh, so picture you have a, I don't know, you have a gas. You <coughs> might know this already. Or it doesn't have to be a gas. It could be a, a metal, whatever. Uh, what happens usually when you heat something up? What happens to its volume if you heat something up? It's bigger, isn't it? Now, has the mass changed? No. No. Uh, so what happens to density? The density is smaller. Okay, so as you increase the temperature, we should see the density getting smaller. Yeah. <coughs> right? Uh, there's one material which is very, very strange because uh, for certain temperatures, when you warm it up, rather than the density getting smaller, the density actually gets bigger. So you warm it up, and instead of the density getting smaller, which you think it should do, uh, the opposite happens. The density <coughs> actually increases. Do we know what material this is? Mm. So for some temperatures, I'll just I'll put this in Kelvin. Oh no, we haven't done Kelvin yet. Mm. Zero Celsius and four Celsius. So we think the graph should look like this. Water, water, water. Yes, <laughs> water. Correct. Yeah. Water is quite strange between zero and four. So instead of the density decreasing, it actually increases. Now this actually means you can have this really strange situation. If you have a pool uh, and this water here, um, like normally what happens when you have heat, the heat 
rises. So you could have something like this. This could be maybe 10 Celsius, and, <coughs> and uh, maybe this is 8 Celsius. But the heat generally rises, doesn't it? Like you know this from at home when you're cooking or whatever. Uh, but between zero and four, water is quite strange. So this will be four. This will be three. So it actually the the density doesn't behave the way you think it does. And it means, strangely, between 0 and 4, you can have this picture where the heavy water, the, the hot water sinks down to the bottom instead of what it should normally do, which is rise to the top. So when we talk about solids, liquids, and gases, I keep using the word generally because there's always weird uh, exceptions to these sorts of rules. And, and water being so common is interesting that it's so weird, especially between 0 and 4. Uh, but I, I, some people knew this already. No, or is this new, new information? Okay. So, anyways, I, I can't remember the graph, but instead of uh, it, it decreases, but then it temporarily increases before uh, uh, decreasing again between zero and four. So again, quite strange, you know, quite strange. Uh, okay. Uh, so you have some questions, but these are just. There's no calculations in them, and most of the questions I just want you to describe and or research them. So you might need your phone actually for some of the questions because, uh, let's see, yeah. Uh, five, six, and seven. You might actually have to. I ask you to Google some things to <coughs> see. Uh, get some help answering them. You know that there is Bose. Where is it? Here. Yeah, there's Bose Einstein. Yeah. So that's uh, pre solid and then plasma is after that one there, yeah. What is not Huh? Einstein. Bose Einstein? Yeah, not naturally. It's before solid state. How does it look? How does it look? It's crazy. Uh Watch <laughs> Super solid. Um, Super solid. It has lots of these weird properties. Um, I think it's. <coughs> would you be familiar with these ones? No, it's just. Contrast to therapy. I think it. Uh, it becomes. A, I think it becomes a perfect conductor. Can, can it be? Yeah, but the problem is to keep it so cold, you have to insulate so much. I, I, I can't remember, but the Bose-Einstein <coughs> is somewhere between... Uh, well, we haven't done Kelvin. Oh, have you done Kelvin in chemistry? No. Okay. Uh, I think between 273.15, if I remember. Mm -hmm. This is the minimum. Yeah. Uh, so somewhere between this and <coughs> minus 273, that's where you get Bose-Einstein, I think. So, what's the color? What's the color? Yeah. I can't really look at it because you're trying to keep it so cold. It's really, really, really hard to keep something this cold. Really hard. You, you can't, you can't. You have to spend so much energy trying to keep it something this cold. Anyway, it behaves very, very strangely. Um, the magnetic field becomes very strange. The resistance becomes very strange. It, it's, it takes on strange properties. Oh, very expensive equipment. Very expensive equipment. Liquid helium. Liquid helium is a starting point. Yeah, that the goes to minus 269. Yeah, okay, helium. so liqui liquid helium will take you to minus 269. Yeah. And uh, try <coughs> to get it down to the minus 273. That extra four... Uh, 99% of the work, it's really, really hard. Mm. The reason it's so hard is because it's, it's, it's so quick, it so quickly wants to warm back up. Mm. You're correct, yes. They've all, they've all become locked into place. And this gives them strange properties as well. So they can be shaped as well, like solid? No. 
don't know, because like I said, trying to get into the stakes doesn't give you much chance to do anything with it, you know? But any material can be... I'm sure any material, but different materials <laughs> will be easier and, and harder. So the liquid, <laughs> the nit liquid nitrogen would be helpful uh, to cool it down. Okay, liquid nitrogen? Yeah. So 200, minus 200 degrees Celsius is liquid nitrogen. Yeah, okay, so still a long way to go yeah. then. Yeah. Uh -huh. The reason it's so difficult as well is you might think, okay, well, why don't I just do this in the middle of space <coughs> where there's no uh, there's no energy whatsoever. But in fact, um, the coldest it could ever be is about minus 270. So you might be thinking, why is this the coldest? If I was in the middle of space, there was nothing around. Why is it not minus 273? Why is it minus 270? Where is that little bit of heat coming from? If I'm in the middle of nowhere? Not from me. No. Does anybody know? Yeah, but you're in the middle of nowhere. Nothing around you. No planets, no suns, no stars. It's just blackness. Friction. With what, though? <coughs> What's there? Nothing. Empty. Nothing. Nothing. Because of what? Pressure, pressure from what though? <coughs> There's nothing. Anybody know? Mm. Yes? Don't be shy. What do you think it is? I don't know what I thought you were going to say. What was it? <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> Nobody knows? No, okay. Do you know this? Bang. Yeah. Uh, not the TV show. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I do, yeah. Um, the, the space is still a little bit warm from this. What's the point of the What's the point? <laughs> Ask Stephen Hawkins. You are Stephen. No, 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 no. I'm a poor version of Stephen Hawkins. Okay, anyway, you get to research this on one of the questions so you can look this up.